Hi there, this is Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts and this is a first impressions and unboxing video of a uh, special product. It's a Dell as you can tell, but let me just zoom out here so you can see the rest of the box so you can see exactly which Dell product it is. So it is one of their new uh, Dell Studio Hybrids. These are their new uh, very small desktop computers. Um, I ordered this product the first day it was released and I just got it about an hour ago so I'm hoping this will be one of the uh, first videos up on YouTube and other video sites about the Studio Hybrid. So uh, stand by and I'm going to uh, start the unboxing process. Okay, so here's everything that comes in the uh, box for the Dell Studio Hybrid. It was a bit awkward to uh, unpack, so I just unpacked it all on cam off camera, rather. Uh, the first thing you get in the box is a standard Dell keyboard. I didn't upgrade the keyboard, so this is just going to be uh, Dell's kind of standard keyboard. Although, I don't think I've seen this particular type of keyboard uh, from Dell. This looks like maybe a new design. It has some media buttons up here, and it's actually quite... Uh, quite slender, which is actually kind of kind of cool. So we'll just uh, set that aside. Next, we have uh, the Dell mouse. Um, nothing particularly interesting here, although it does look like they've they've also redesigned uh, their standard mouse. Um, slender, you know, pretty standard, but it's a new design. So they're obviously trying to go for something a bit more sleek than some of their previous clunky designs. Uh, inside this box here, we have a um, couple of things. We have some CDs. So I'm just going to kind of see what's in the box here. Sorry for all the noise. This is a bit more of a, a noisier unboxing than I'm sort of used to doing. So, uh, power cord here. And this is... Ah, now this is, this is really interesting here. This is the AC uh, power brick for the Dell desktop. So what they've actually done here, now this is something you would normally see with a laptop computer, right? Not necessarily a, a desktop computer. Uh, so this is actually a 65 watt um, AC power brick. So this is the cable that connects into the wall, and then this connects into the back of the Dell Hybrid. So I think what they've done in, uh, in order to get the uh, size of the desktop computer down to be really quite small, because this thing sheathed away right here, this is the actual uh, Dell, they've essentially made the power supply external, which I've seen on um, a couple of uh, Shuttle XPCs, but it's really, really rare to see anything like that. And Dell has done an amazing job of making this power brick really little. So. Uh, kudos to them. That is a really cool uh, feature. So applications, Roxio, you know, just a bunch of software that's usually too junky for me to uh, bother installing. This is the uh, Studio Hybrid setup guide. Nothing particularly interesting here. Another CD, uh, reinstallation DVD for Windows Vista Home Premium. So it's cool that Dell actually gives you that. This is going to be the stand. Um, for the Studio Hybrid. Uh, so the Studio Hybrid uh, can go um, vertically. Um, that's interesting, they've put uh, the stickers on the inside of this stand that's pretty kind of ridiculous looking actually, but maybe this was the concession uh, to not having the stickers on the Studio Hybrid itself. Okay, so here it is. So this is the new computer that I ordered. This is the whole, the whole thing. Uh, it's amazing how small and light it is. So I'm going to just um, open it up here. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so I got the uh, the red version. Now, first impressions, um, it is really small. What I'm kind of surprised at is I didn't realize it was going to be um, translucent. You can actually see that it's actually see-through. Uh, there. The pictures on Dell's website sure don't make it look like it's translucent. I was expecting sort of a, uh, uh, a candy red kind of glossy hard coat on it. So that's, that's kind of interesting. I'm not too sure how I feel about that because um, Dell's photography sure doesn't make it look like that. At any rate, uh, let's take a look at the machine itself. So uh, this is the uh, front. So we're going to have, actually I'll just take off this uh, plastic covering here. So we're going to have the uh, power button up here. We have um, two USB ports. We have a front headphone jack. 
and then we also have a, uh, a media card reader. This looks like it's probably just for um, SD cards and maybe memory sticks because it's not big enough for compact flash. Then on the back here, and this is the this is the good stuff from a geeky point of view. We have the um, the uh, fan here. We have the power input. Yeah, so that's what I thought. So the power supply is completely externalized. We have um, speakers, uh, digital optical, so SPDIF. We have a uh, Firewire, four-wind fire, Firewire port. We have three uh, USB 2.0 ports. We have a DVI output, an HDMI output, and then uh, Ethernet. And uh, then on the, yeah, now this, Oh, I see. So yeah, this is this is actually these two little ports here uh, are actually where the uh, the stand would actually connect into. So maybe I will just set it up on the stand right now and see how that see how that looks. So I think it, they just kind of pop in here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So there is the Dell uh, Studio Hybrid. So it's really really uh, tiny. I mean, just I guess to give you a size comparison, you know, here's my here's my phone. Uh, so obviously a lot smaller, but if you were to compare this to virtually every other desktop computer out there, it's going to be smaller. Uh, the Mac Mini is probably the Mac Mini is going to be a, a little bit smaller overall. Uh, the Mac Mini is not quite sort of as as long, um, but I wouldn't buy a Mac Mini. So the purpose of this computer is uh, this is actually going to be going up in um, my family room in sort of a uh, a home theater PC environment. So I wanted something that was really nice. Uh, and small, really nice and quiet, um, but still had enough, you know, grunt to play, uh, you know, uh, high definition videos. So this particular machine, uh, I don't have the spec sheet in front of me here, but um, when I ordered it, I got it with uh, the basic, um, the 1.86 gigahertz uh, Core 2 Duo CPU. I got it with three gigs of RAM. I got it with a 320 gigabyte uh, hard drive. And then everything else is pretty standard. Uh, you can get um, a slot loading optical drive. So, so this is the optical drive right here. It's actually slot loading, which is which is really really cool. Uh, you can get an option for Blu-ray. Blu-ray was about three hundred dollars uh, Canadian, so I opted to uh, not get that option. So it's just a standard uh, DVD burner. So that's about it for my unboxing and first impressions. I'll be uh, hooking it up to a desktop and and monitor, you know, and uh, kind of playing with it. Uh, and once I get it all set up in the um, TV room where I'm going to be having it. It's uh, I'll you know give I'll probably do a video of it actually set up and um, being in action. But first impressions are pretty cool. Not too sure about the chassis. I'm going to have to take a look at the photography and see if maybe I just misinterpreted uh, what I was seeing in terms of colors. They have a, a bamboo shell option, but that was an extra like hundred dollars, and I thought that the red would look good, you know, kind of sitting on the shelf. I'm really impressed with the ports in the back. I mean, the fact that they have uh, DVI and HDMI, so this thing, you know, works out perfectly as sort of a, uh, a media center um, PC. And obviously, you know, just based on its size, this thing is small enough to, you know, sit on a shelf, you know, next to a DVD player and not be very uh, obtrusive. And that, that of course, brings uh, some other interesting options to the fore in terms of where you can actually use a computer this small. I'm a big, big fan of a small form factor computing. Uh, I've purchased many shuttles over the years, and this is one of the first computers by a major manufacturer that I think approaches the uh, you know the, the size. Well, this is smaller than any shuttle, but just the uh, the overall design of uh, shuttles XPCs. So this has been Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick unboxing and first impressions video of the uh, Dell Studio Hybrid. If you like this video, please uh, rate it, post a comment, and subscribe to the Thoughts Media channel. Thanks for watching.